Cancer, welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages we have for you today concerning love. What messages do we have for the sign of Cancer, please, concerning love? Messages for the sign of Cancer, please. For the for love. Nine of Swords, Magician, ooh, forgiving oneself, it's hard to do but it is achievable, you're in the process, that's the positive side of all these sleepless nights you're having, things are changing for you, you're coming back to your old self, you are recovering, you are healing, opening up, Forgiving the situation, some of you are forgiving the other person, but it's more difficult to forgive yourself. And it's it's an ever struggling battle in life. You know, we all go through it, but this magician is a good sign. It it shows you've learnt a lot of lessons out of this, what's happened. And it's it's coming good. Yeah, you're at a turning point, you see. It's getting more focused in the past it was scattered energy but that wheel's turning in your favor now this 10 here things are going to change rebuilding your life look in the universe is beginning to be on your side now Mm, fresh start. Picking up generosity here. You are a generous person. You like helping others. But there's split loyalties here. But there is a fresh start. You can feel the changes coming. You know, this ploughed field here, it's represents the past for me. And it's been swept clean. And now you've got new seeds, new New things to plant for your future. Doing things differently. Mm. A lot of thinking going on in the past about this person. It's Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, but it could be you. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh dear. No, it's not COVID. It's winter. Yeah, it's holding back. Becoming less apathetic. Becoming more into your own. Gaining your own freedom. Gaining new direction. New passions. And... For some of you, this Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, I say you are becoming more apathetic about it. You're not so, it's not that you're not interested, you're not so affected by it. Hmm, yeah. You're definitely holding back. Four of Cups, now the Four of Pentacles, that's eight, that's the strength card. And it's bringing an enormous amount of change for you within yourself. And you're beginning to feel much happier about the situation, much happier about yourself. The, f the future does look bright. Yeah, communication, knowing exactly what you want, knowing who you want in your life. Clarity, clarity of thought. As I say, the energy in the past, it was kind of very confusing for you. You do, for some of you, you do get the sense that, you know, either you or this person was being influenced by a third party. 
and that third party could be cultural differences, beliefs, just the way they see the relationship compared to you. And it could even be a family influence here, but there was a third party influence. It could even be work got in the way and things didn't develop. But there's a fresh start here, a fresh offer. This, but you could well receive a message off this person. But you're busy coming into your own, loving yourself. There you are. More drainage. Being in full control of your emotions. You've got a lot of love to give. And it's you're only going to give it now to people who, who reciprocate, who make you feel good. Hmm. Yeah, this, there's a connection there, but somebody's acting very, very independent, very, very confident, very sure of themselves. They like the good things in life. They, you know, I wouldn't say money is their God, but they like the good things. Like I say, they could be in a partnership with work or another person as I said there's a third party influence here but this person is very confident and they are acting independently they've not given their all to this relationship mm. some of you are hoping for a reconciliation again it's Sagittarius energy here with this temperance card six of cups a lot of thoughts on the past and What's happened in the past is is there's a lot of that energy is still around you, and in a sense that's kind of restricting things. That's kind of making you pull back. That's making them pull back. But I can see communication coming in, bringing you some answers. Yeah. Page of Swords, Angman. Thinking about things. I feel for a lot of you, there will be a conversation here that will, you know, widen your, open your eyes to it. I say there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that you probably didn't know about. You sense them. Your intuition is spot on. Whatever your intuition is telling you, listen to it. But I feel you're going to get some answers, you know. And because you sense this person coming back, I feel you've already practiced a little speech. Because I get, you know, a conversation or messages that will open the whole thing up. You know. It, it'll give you mental clarity. It'll give you a wider view of the situation. But the underlying energy here is very, you know, it's Aries, Leo, fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You don't necessarily have to be dealing, don't get hooked up on the signs. It's just somebody with these traits. Very, very controlling, very domineering, very, very strong personality. Yeah, it is doable for you if you wish it. But I feel there's a lot of give and take here. There's some issues from the past that need sorting out. There's some karma that needs sorting out between you two. Residual feelings. And a lot of these feelings are based on stuff that's gone on that you probably don't know about. There's a lot of second guessing going on here. On that note, I'm going to leave it. Thank you for watching and see you again soon, I hope. Bye for now.